Hi guys. All right, it worked this time. I don't know, this thing with Facebook, like I have to do it twice before it works. Anyway, hello, hello, fellow stressed out moms out there. This is Rita, it's Wednesday morning, 8 a.m. I have a walk in a few minutes, but I wanted to make this quick video for you, once again about people pleasing, because it's one of these topics that so many people have issues with. We're trying to please everyone all the time, right? We're trying to please everyone and it's such a thankless job. And what I wanted to talk about today is why caring about what others think of you more than what you think of you is not helpful at all. And I only know this because I very much came from that. I have to worry about what everyone is thinking about me all the time. And I would tailor my day based on what I thought other people would want or approve of or like or be pleased by or avoid the things that they won't like. So it's exhausting. That's why I just to say it's really exhausting. And I just developed it over time. It was a tendency. I really cared about people. And um, from the get-go, I was very much a caring person, which is great. But then when I started to slip into caring more about others than myself, in other words, sacrificing myself on the altar of what other people think, then I really did myself a disservice. It was a real disservice. And it led me down a road where I was never really knowing what I wanted. I never really knew how I felt about myself. I just thought, well, if everyone's pleased with me, it's okay. Whew. Got through that one. Um, I pleased everyone around me. And I also, because of my empathy, I would mistaken what other people felt as what I felt. That would affect me so much. For instance, when I was a little kid, I'd walk into a room and I could sense if there was tension. I could sense if people, sometimes it was looking at body language, sometimes it was hearing what they were saying, but sometimes it was just feeling it. And what happened was it would very much affect how I felt. So if I walked in there and I was doing great and then I noticed the tension, I would freeze up. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I wouldn't be happy anymore. I would immediately be on guard. I would, I would immediately be worried about what, what was going on, about sometimes my safety, emotional safety, and it would just crush it. It would just crush my enthusiasm. And so from then on, I realized I got to be really looking out for what's going on around me all the time, being vigilant. And it turned into hypervigilance where I would feel into it. And if it, something was a little off, I'd feel that sense of danger and warning. And look, it got me where I am now, so ultimately I'm grateful, but it was a long, hard road. And here's what I want to say to you. If you think it's helpful to try to please everyone around you, then you mistake where you're putting your attention. Because ultimately, you have to feel good about yourself. It starts with you. And a lot of times what we're doing is avoiding the work and the focus of just tuning in with ourselves, connecting with ourselves and saying, are we pleased with our lives? Are we pleased with ourselves? Are we doing what's really ours to do? Are we connected to our mission and our passion? And are, are we feeling authentic? Because so many times when we're focused on everyone else, we're not connected and we're not being authentic and we don't ask for what we need right so i went through a lot of time where people would ask me finally ask, what do you want and i'd be like i don't know i don't know what i want i'm i know what he wants and she wants and they want and the other people over here want i don't know what i want but if you don't know what you want how do you know how to get it how do you know how to go on step by step into if you have any goals, if you have any dreams, if you have any wishes, if there's places you want to live or how much money you want to make or how do you want to feel? And it can't just be, I want to feel okay because everyone around me is feeling okay. How about, I want to just feel okay no matter what is going on around me. Now that feels like freedom to me. 
and that's what this is all about. So just wanted you to take this nugget that it's a myth that thinking and being worried about what other people think of you is the most important thing on your mind. It's not. It's just an old strategy. Maybe it made you feel safe for a long time, but it's kind of like an old pair of pajamas that don't fit anymore. It's time for a new pair of pajamas where you connect with yourself, where you go, What's, what do I want? How do I feel? And then you conduct your business from there. And it doesn't mean you don't care about people, but this is the thing. Once you really connect with yourself and care about what you think and care about what's important to you, then you're able to fill your cup and you're able to attend to other people as necessary to support them in a much more powerful way than just trying to please them all the time. Because just trying to please people all the time disempowers them, believe it or not. It disempowers them. And when you're pleasing all the time, you come off as less authentic. So you might actually be pushing away relationships, weakening relationships that you want to strengthen People never know if you're just trying to please them or if you really care sometimes because you're doing it from a place of just feel okay so I can feel okay. You become much more powerful when you're authentic and connected. You're much more able to deal with crises. You're much more able to deal with whatever comes up because you'll be grounded, connected, clear, confident versus scrambling around trying to assemble all the pieces around you because it'll all come from inside here instead of trying to fix everything on the outside. It's sort of like there's this phrase, instead of trying to carpet the world, wear slippers. Deal with yourself first, put that oxygen mask on yourself first. You get in, get it straight, and then you can deal with the outside world much more effectively, much more, because you're present and authentic and connected. I hope this is helpful to you today. If you want to dive into this and really get to the root cause of what's going on with you and actually do something about it, I am doing a three-day challenge starting April 24th at noon Eastern. It's going to be Facebook Live in the Calm Mom Alliance. So if you haven't joined, join the Calm Mom Alliance and then look for the event, converting people pleasing to personal power in three simple steps. I really encourage you to do that. It's going to be a lot of information over a three-day period. We're going to be meeting just one hour per day on a Facebook Live, and then the last day it's going to be a Zoom call because um, I have a lot of information that I want to give you that I, I don't know how to do through Facebook Live. It's easier to do through Zoom. So completely free, no obligation. You're going to learn a lot, and you're going to be ready and prepared to just take care of that one area of your life that you feel like you want to take care of where you're kind of doing people pleasing and it just doesn't feel good anymore and you're exhausted. So please join me on April 24th. If you're not in Calm Mom Alliance, join Calm Mom Alliance. I'll put the link below in the comments. And if you are, look for the event in Calm Mom Alliance. I think I've, it's in there somewhere and I'll post it again. And just join it. Register for, for it. You may have even, if you're in Come Mom Alliance, you might have already even gotten like a private message for it. So have a wonderful day. Remember to keep connected with yourself. What other people think of you is none of your business, as they say. And I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.